Howdy, my friends. We're back on Piedmont. Last week, my partner here, Mike, went and caught himself his first muskie. It was a nice one. It was a 41-incher. So we are back here again. He's throwing the same bait, a bucktail. I'm going to start off with this phantom topwater. Had some action on it the last time I was here. So we're up in this docks. Where would you catch your last fish, Mike? Right, right off that dock. So we're going to head that way. We're going to go up and down these docks. And we're also going to head out of that point and then head right on out of the Marina Bay here. So that's what we can't get into. Take us off spot lock and head that way. Love starting off with top water in the morning. And there's nothing better than a top water bite. I do like this orange too. I need to get my glasses. Guess we got a bass tournament going on today. That's all the boats we saw early. So I got me some new sunglasses when I was down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're Oakley's. Mm -hmm. They've got these prism lenses. It's amazing how they light up. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cool. The initial plan was to run to the first Woody Bay outside of Marina Bay, but we were using the perspective mode with the live scope and we were, kept seeing all this bait and we decided to chase that bait and see if maybe we could find some muskies that were hanging out by them. In the summertime, if you find bait, you usually find muskie. While we were doing that, we came upon this sunken structure. It looked to be like a sunken boat or perhaps some type of dock but there was tons of bait around it. So we're like, okay, let's hang out here. We went ahead and marked it. And then we put the perspective mode into the down view. And Blair started jigging and I started casting bucktails to see if we couldn't contact some muskies. Awesome. Can you see it on the bottom? Awesome. Oh my gosh, that is 100% a muscle. <laughs> Keep Sweet. I can see his tail on everything. God dang it. Oh my god. He just left. <gasps> that was bad ass. He's right there, dude. Same to the. Him. Oh, yeah, him. That mark was twice that. Oh, there he is. He's coming up. That's fish. See him? Right there, dude. That is it. Oh, God. That's a big freaking fish. Holy cow, dude. That was huge. That was a big freaking muskie. Dude, he came up and checked out my bait three or four times. He's deep. He's like 14 foot. 14, 15, 16 foot. He was right on that structure, too. That, did you, did you, I pulled him off of I mean, do you see the fins and everything, dude? Right there he is again. All right, just keep jigging. He's falling around this little bit of bait. That was freaking, that was huge. That was a good sized fish. I'm telling you, it might be, honestly. I'm not, I mean, I'm not trying. 
tell you like different, but it might be worth putting on something else in the jig. Just put him in a different variety. Maybe we can catch him. So we know he's right below me. Right here he is again. Yeah, I'll do that. I've got another kind of jig. I love this jig and stuff, especially with this. This is. <laughs> well, when you can see your bait, it makes a big freaking difference. Yeah, it does. You knew there had to be a muskie close mm -hmm. by. Well, I just went over top like three gigantic bait balls. And he was just, must have just, must have been sitting on that dock waiting on one to come low enough. And he watched it. I, don't, I wish he would have struck it. That would have been sweet. There's a video of a guy. Who, I think he's the guy that makes these bombie baits. And he was on, I think, the Detroit River. Mm -hmm. And he's just sitting there, and he's like, okay, I, I get here, and then there's the current comes through here. He knows where the creek channel is. Mm -hmm. It's like, I just let the wind push me down through here. And he was just sitting there, man. He, he's like, when they hit, they hit like a ton of bricks. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And then he like, it hit, and he just freaking set the hook, and it was on. Right there you are, right next to me, <laughs> where I'm moving the boat. Got him. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Calm down. It, it got hung up. That's why I felt so heavy. I was like, oh shit. Dude, you were flying. I'm getting that now. <laughs> that was good, buddy. That was good. I will get that now. My bad. My I bad. Gonna, I ain't going to be slow about that. I'm going to bail. And I'm that, felt like a, that felt like a... Like a I felt it get light, and I was like, "What the hell's going on?" If it gets light, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> that's what that's what I, that's what happened. And then, but it got light because I crossed up. Sorry about that. You're good. <laughs> Look at all that bait. Yeah, that stuff on the bottom ain't bait. That's the dog. I mean, the bait on top of it. Spot like us right here and see if you can hold it. Yeah. Ooh, there's a muskie. He came up and followed my, uh, my bait. He was not very big, mid, mid thirties. I just saw a fish. He followed up my, my bait. That's one. Well, actually, it's two, yeah, because we've seen we've seen other baits. Kind of flashed on it, but he didn't follow it in the eight. Oh, musky! That's definitely a musky. See it there on the bottom? We just kind of. Dude, Ooh, he just swung he just swiped at it. Yeah. I felt it too, he tapped it. He's like, I don't like you. I think he just hit the blade. Is what he did. I called it too, that was a musket in it. <laughs> Swad and musket. Freaking awesome. What's this thing coming up? Is that eight below? There's something swimming below my bait. Whew. 
There was a fish. He just he he just kind of swam as I brought it up. Yeah. Swam away. He's right there to the right. Ooh, there he is. That's just annoying right He's there. right there to your left. I'm trying to do something to trigger a bite. I'm giving a little pop. Not the same. Pop, not the same. I think we just need to stay here the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I mean, that's the fourth fish. Yeah. It's probably the same fish as the one. Maybe, the but one. we saw it. It swam away and came back, so even if it's the same fish, it's going to be a call, considered a, another fish because we don't know if it was the same or not. There he is, to the left, see him? Yep. Right there. He's interested. And here comes a big bait ball. This is so cool. This gives you feedback, immediate feedback. I mean, you know if there's something there or not. <laughs> See him all scatter. <laughs> You don't get excited, as excited down when you see a muskie. No, I don't. Remember that first time I took you and you saw that one, you freaked out. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! <laughs> no more uh, a muskie. <laughs> you threw your rod down in next to me and started figure eight and like madman. Yeah. I was like, damn, this dude wants a muskie. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen one. <laughs> Rears to the left, I think, on the bottom. I can see why these things eat jigs on the bottom, because they they spend a lot of time on the bottom. May have not been him. I don't know. Does it look like him on the bottom there? Mm -hmm. Looks like something, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that's definitely a fish. Keep jigging. Ooh, come on baby, bite it. Bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it. Come on. That's definitely a muskie. We're getting this all on camera too, dude. Keep jigging it. Keep it high and let it come down. Oh, he's right there, dude. He's right there. Oh, he's gonna bite it. He's gonna. Bite. He's a big one. Not huge, but big. Oh, dude, he was right on it. He's still there. He's checking it out. He's definitely liking that too. Don't get it down on him. He'll he'll bump him and scare him. That was cool, dude. He was right there checking it out. We got it all on video. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. They like that tube better. Yeah, I seem to. They've probably seen a bunch of bondy baits. Uh, maybe. I think it's just got more flash. You know that tail? Mm -hmm. That's why I 
that's what I like about this Medusa. It's got all the and those tails that kind of do their stuff there. Two of them. I'm hoping those aren't catfish. We keep seeing these fish swim underneath though, so we can't determine if they're catfish or not. They look really fish tall. And they're really close to the bottom. So we keep debating on whether they're actually catfish or, or musky, but they do seem pretty interested in our baits. From this view here, you can almost see whiskers on it. So I'm pretty confident these are just catfish, but still pretty cool. Could be a catfish. Yeah, I'm thinking that's catfish. It just swam away. It didn't like. They're not they're not looking at the bait, they're just swimming by it like a musky does. A musky kind of looks at it. In this next sequence you'll see a musky come up here. He's right behind the bait, and then he disappears, you'll hear a splash. That was a musky. And then you'll see him dart right down to the bottom. Too. That's something amazing is how fast that they can be at the top of the water. Eat a fish and then go to the bottom. So I definitely, Look at him. definitely think these are not catfish. I think some of them are. I don't think they're all. Well, that one wasn't. There's a big bait ball right there to our left. Huge. The bait, the muskie are right over here. I just like right on top of the dog. Yeah. There he is. He didn't dive down quick at all. I'm thinking he's... There he is. Yes, in the eight. I saw him right there in the eight. Yeah, boy. All right, I'm gonna come around. All right, quick. All right. Mm hmm. She was 40, uh, 39 and a half. Might need to grab her and just hold her here. There she goes, there she goes, now ah, she goes. There's a kick of the tail. She gone. All right, she was just getting there. Yes, dude, that felt so good. Oh, that felt so good. So her jump. That's the second time I've seen a fish jump, and I've moved to the left and caught her. I saw her follow that in. I went, I went wide on that turn and I sped it up and I hung it right in that corner. As soon as I hung it in that corner, man, boom, she grabbed it. That was awesome. All right, I gotta get my finger. Good morning, we are back at headquarters. Had a very successful trip to Piedmont. Ended up getting one fish in the bag. So excited to get that fish. I've had two other misses. Here's a 32 that I missed on Leesville. Just turned his head and popped off the lure. He's about 30. Oh, he got off. 
And then here's another mid 40s fish that I caught on Piedmont. There he is, got him, got him. Get the net. This is a big fish. Okay, we're gonna play this sucker nice. Now I ain't gonna mess around. Right this side over here. Keep his head down. He's hooked good. All right. Oh, damn. But he just jumped right at the boat and we missed that one. So it really felt good to get this one finally in the net. Measured out at 39 and a half. The live scope really helped me find these fish today. We found the bait and we found the fish. So what we did is we put the live scope into the perspective mode. We drove around until we found bait balls. And then once we got up on those bait balls, we put it in the down view and we jigged and cast it in those areas. We kind of knew where the bait was. We knew the fish would be close. When we put it in the perspective mode, we could see the long dashes out there swimming around. And we could tell how far they were up in the water column based upon the shadow that we saw on the bottom. So the live scope mm, really came in. And that perspective mode to me is just a game changer. If you don't have it, you gotta have it. It is amazing. If you have any questions, please leave them in the towel section below please give me a like and subscribe let me know if you thought those were catfish or musky there in the middle parts of the video so th again thank you so much for watching we'll catch you on the next one